Hey everyone, hope you're all right. I'm Vinod from Grow Wealth. Today is this Saturday, the 18th of June, 2022. Let's have a look at the stock market and the watch list review. So today we are going to have a look at the broader indices and also stocks, not just there's an stage two, but also the stocks that are bouncing off um, from its bottom. The S&P 500. Let's go to the weekly to give a bigger picture. So the take home message for the broader indices, in the broader market is still in downtrend. S&P 500 just hit a bear market territory last week and it is in stage four downtrend. And it's not different to the, any of the other major indices. This is the NYSC composite index hitting the 200 week moving average. NASDAQ just above the 200 week moving average still in um, stage four, and IWM, the Russell 2000, it's even, even weaker, below the 200 week moving average. Looking at the daily, it is showing some bounce and, and some indication that it could bounce because of the extreme oversold conditions in all of the indices. The previous attempt to bounce here back in end of May um, was broken down and set a new low the last couple of days. Um, there could be another bounce, another kind of mini base and a bounce, uh, which would be, which has to be considered as a bear market rally rather than a new bottom and bull market setting up. All right, let's go into the stocks. So many of these stocks will have similar setup to this one. This stock has set a new low, all time low, sorry, I think 52 week low on the 12th of May. And since then, it has gone up by about 80%. But as you just saw, S&P 500, since the May low, it's gone down by about 15%. No, is it 15? Sorry. Um, about 4% since the May low. So it's undercut the May low, um, low 13 May. Whereas this stock, ABCL, has gone up by 80%. Thereby showing a good relative strength in the last month and a half. So this is the reason why I'm showing these setups um, to look for the good relative strength. It's about the key moving averages, um, eight over twenty-one over fifty EMA. ACRS, similar stuff. So low was set, and that low was even higher than the low here from January. So it has been building up higher lows ever since this initial low at the beginning of the year. This May low was higher, and then this low here in June, um, on 13th of June, is even higher. So higher lows, whereas the market has been setting lower lows. And as you can see, there are some biotech names. There are hardly any energy sector names um, in terms of relative strength because the oil price is kind of being correcting a little bit and cooling off. And with that, many of the oil stocks have fallen off their kind of good um, setups as well. Whereas the biotech stocks are showing some good relative strength. AGTI, it's bounced off this key, short-term key moving average, but um, kind of very close to the 200-day moving average, which may act as a resistance there. Good, nice volume accumulation coming in. Uh, ALLO, Allogene Therapeutics, similar stuff. So bounced off. Um, broke out of the key moving averages. That's a nice moving average confluence here and bubble breakout. Um, and then quick pullback, retested the 50 day moving average and then bouncing off again, continuing the uptrend. It's, uh, if this momentum continues, it's likely to kind of reach the 200 day moving average currently at $1370. ALT, another biotech stock, um, nice confluence consolidation here about the 21 and 8 day moving average and below the 50 day moving average. Once it broke about the 50 day moving average after a little pause for a single day, it zoomed into the 200 day moving average, um, pulled back to the just below the 8 EMA and then now resumed its uptrend with a bullish move and finished about the 200 day moving average again, um, thereby showing incredible relative strength in the last few days and a couple of weeks. AMPS, similar stuff again. Um, broke about the shorter term moving average, found resistance at 200, pulled back to 50, 
and now closed above the 200 day moving average for the first time in over six months now with nice volume accumulation. AMWL broke above 50, retest 50, found support and resuming subtrend. 200 is on its way. Uh, it is currently at, what is it? Uh, 574. So another dollar to go, about 20%, 25% to go to reach the 200 day moving average. They are GX, another biotech. So it's a little bit choppy in terms of good bounce and then pullback, um, profit taking, but the volume accumulation is coming up. Moving averages are all aligned in the right direction on the weekly. It is consolidating pretty much since February last year, 2021 onwards. You could use this as a, a price point to 356. 78 as a kind of interim resistance level to see if it breaks above that and maintains about that level. Um, this was the high setup uh, here right at the end of December 2021. ARQT, and that's the um, resistance zone at 22.10. Um, it's showing some good momentum um, and stochastics and, and the moving averages are aligned in the right direction. As you can see here, eight over 21 over 50, which is over the 200. And I would like to see if it holds about these moving averages and breaks about that resistance zone. ARRY. It tries to move up, uh, resume its uptrend, but found resistance at the 200 day moving average right there at the beginning of June. And it pulled back, found resistance, sorry, found support at 21 day moving average and had an outside candle on Friday on above average volume. So it's likely to. Um, go and retest the 200 is my expectation. Is that PN? So it had a nice move um, from March onwards. So this is a bit stronger than some of the other stocks that we have seen. So this set its low in March, about here, 15th of March. And since that low, it has gone up quite a bit, about 30, 35, yeah, nearly 38%. And it nicely starts stepping. So it went up there, found support uh, at 200, moved above, the key moving averages pushed back to find support at 50. Did the same again, resumed uptrend, but then pushed back, found support at 50 again. So it closed just below the 21 and 8 EMA. We'll have to see whether that acts as a resistance or not. And then when it goes above the 8 and 21, the recent history suggests it kind of, um, tends to have a rally after that, so one to watch. CRDO, relatively new stock from January 2022 onwards. Um, and along with the market, this kind of collapsed from about $17, $18 to $8.61. And then set a base in um, bottom in May, um, showing some relative strength in the last six weeks. Went above the key moving averages, including 50 day, and then came and retested 50 and putting a base here at 50 day. Um, and on Friday, we have a nice bullish candle of 6%. Um, if it goes past this descending trend line right there, that'll be a good indication for, for the website to come. Charge Enterprise CRGE, it's, it's setting up a start stepping um, upward action with a lot of kind of volume accumulation. If you look at the recent price action from this bottom set in May. It is really strong and moved about, moved up by, uh, it almost doubled since the bottom that, um, since the low that it has set in May. Um, it's useful to see if this consolidates above the key moving averages, good tight base to have a good entry point like it has done here in April. Uh, we'd like to see that uh, for a good entry setup and, and risk management. CRISPR Therapeutics, so the horizontal line at 70.4 um, is a resistance, but it is showing some good relative strength since the middle May. Push down, push down when it tries to kind of retest the 200 day moving average, found support just under the 50 day, and with high volume accumulation, the last four bullish days are quite encouraging. DQ. It's even above the 200 day moving average. It tries to kind of consolidate here for the last seven months, pushed above the 200, 
gentle pullback, profit taking and found support at 21 day and now gapped up and closed above the um, eight day moving average. So showing some good relative strength. GO, grocery outlet. This is even more stronger than some of the other stocks that we've seen. The, um, the low uh, has been set in January 2022 and it's been doing really well. Uh, it, it broke above this um, pivot point right there, set a new pivot point, um, it gently pulled back to the previous pivot point and pushed above um, the recently set high. So as long as it stays above the 39.50, um, this is quite bullish setup. HRMY, how many buy signs? Um, nice company, long-term prospect is good. Um, so it's the expectation, but recent IPO from the August 2020 onwards is still within that kind of consolidation zone. It needs to clear above the 40.3 on good volume and stay above that and then eventually clear this $53 mark in order for us to be really confident. But recent price action, from the low set in um, May, month of May, is quite encouraging. There are some Chinese stocks that are that are bouncing off. Um, they haven't set a new low when the Nasdaq and S&P has been breaking its um, um, recent lows. So the stock has also identified some of those Chinese stocks, like JD, as you can see. It's about the shorter term moving average, but just below the 200 day moving average. I haven't included all of the Chinese stocks, but Pinduoduo, PDD, um, it's also there. Baba, um, also another Chinese stock with similar chart setup. Um, KNT, this is a, a Canadian stock, K92 Mining. It's kind of pulled back and had a bullish day on Thursday, but on Friday, it's um, it gently kind of it cooled off. What I would like to see is the price stays above the 50-day moving average under a similar subtrend. LEDS. Um, this is an uh, interesting setup. Price consolidated and broke about the 50 and then pu pushed down to um, retest this uh, short term moving average. Price has been staying above the key moving averages, as you can see, and it's uh, giving a very tight price action. The negative days are on extremely low volume compared to the positive days. So there's not much of selling coming in. Um, when the pressure is off in the market, this is likely to invite more bias. Nice tight consolidation here. LU, similar stuff about the key moving averages, broke about the 200, and now uh, it had a gap up and broke about the 200 day moving average on high volume. MNSO, so it broke out about the 50 day moving average. We would want to see that the 50 day moving average holds and then resumes the further uptrend. And it could maybe test this level about 10, between 10 and 11. And that would also coincide with the 200 day moving average. MYOV. So I'm looking for this bottom bounce here um, because the price action is encouraging and price closed above the key moving average. It's nice moving average confluence and it could. If this continues, uh, it could go up, um, towards the 200 day moving average. NBIX, there are lots of line here. Let's zoom out to give a clear picture. But ever since it hit this peak in 2018, it's been consolidating. That's, cons that's going sideways for the last four years. And now it is kind of showing some relative strength. It set a new low in January. The low in May was higher low, showing some relative strength uh, compared to the market. And this, the price is still below this descending trend line. And it gave a kind of a bullish um, reversal candle on last week, which closed about the 50 week moving average. So if the price kind of stays above the 50 week and gently kind of creeps up above the descending trend line on good volume and sets up a good base here, that would be quite encouraging. So NEO, another Chinese stock, similar setup with good relative strength about the 50 day moving average and short term moving averages are aligned in the right direction. Oli Spargain, O-L-L-I. This stock was down in the dumps for a very long time. From 2018 onwards, it's gone sideways and then down post pandemic. 
However, in the recent months, it seems to be building a base here. It's closed above this interim pivot point at $55 mark last week, but it's just below the 50 week moving average. There's good volume close coming up. The price broke out of the 200 day moving average and above the resistance uh, short term pivot point at 55. So this is a good setup um, to, to keep in your watch list. PDD, Pindua Rule, I mentioned the Chinese stock. So it's just below the 200, but um, seemingly kind of building some momentum behind this name. PRM. About the key moving averages, 50 as support, and now finished positively about the key moving averages. PRVA, about all of the key moving averages, including the 200. Um, nice moving average confluence and then broke out of the 200 and which it held since then. And these are the names that you should be having on your watch list. RAPT, um, just finished above the 50 day moving average on high volume. We'd want to see whether that moves continues um, to the upside or not. 50 day has acted as a strong resistance ever since um, it uh, it broke below that uh, right right here in January. So let's see if it kind of can break above that or not. ROIV. So it's sitting just beneath this shorter term pivot point um, for at 4.51, um, but the price finished above the 50 day moving average. It also did that back here at the end of May, and then uh, that acts as the resistance and, and, and then got sold off a little bit. However, it did not set a new low. The low was back in May. And um, so it is showing some good relative strength compared to the market. The volume clues are increased, RX, RX as well. Another biotech stock broke about the 50, met with some sellers, broke below it. And now it is kind of retesting and about, uh, broke about the 50 again with some MACD and stochastics kind of uh, bullish momentum coming in. SBRA. So this stock uh, has some upside resistance here as indicated by these two horizontal lines. Low set in May, price above the 50, um, found some resistance at 200, eventually broke out, but then um, bro broke below it and found support at 50 day moving average. Now the price has resumed the uptrend and closed above the 200 day moving average as well. SGEN, um, there's a huge move on Friday from 148 to 175. It closed at 165 and strong volume. The volume has been building up as well for the last week and a bit. Price has stabilized once it broke about the 50 day, it kind of stabilized about that, as you can see over the last few weeks. And now it broke very decisively about 200 day moving average. SIDU, this is in the aerospace and defense sector. I think it had a news driven action here. Um, it had some deals with NASA, jumped up quite a bit, um, something like 200, 300, 400% in a couple of days. So it's likely to kind of um, push back a little bit. We'd like to see, excuse me, um, the short term moving average catch up. If you look at the um, hourly and the 15 minute chart, that might give you a, if you want to day trade, which I don't necessarily recommend uh, market condition, but if you have the um, ability to do that, um, this might give a good entry point um, in, if you look at the short term timeframes like hourly or 15 minutes. SDKL, so price is consolidating uh, about the key moving average is mainly the 250. Um, it kind of got sold off here. This is at, at the early stages of stage two, I believe. And if it could assume um, about the 749 level, and this might be a good um, setup to look at TIVC. Nice tight consolidation about 50 day moving average and strong push up on good volume accumulation. UTHR, the horizontal line is the all time high line, um, which it broke about, but it got sold off a little bit gently, not crashed at all. It's still a, it's quite a strong chart. If you look at um, the weekly, it may give a better picture. So it consolidated for nearly a year, had a strong breakout and gently pushed back um, towards that kind of breakout level. Breakout level. 
it is right at that point. So as long as the T line holds on the weekly and the price continues to um, regain that $219 mark, that'll be quite encouraging. So this is one of the strongest charts um, that I'm monitoring. VIR, another biotech. Um, it met with some sellers about the 50 day moving average, um, but it has regained the 50 again on high volume. Um, so if it kind of um, maintains this momentum, it's likely to go towards the 200 and to test that as we have seen many, multiple times in the other biotech stocks um, today. Diagnostic and research um, industry, Vivo, using the 50 day as support right there, one, two, three times since it, or four or five times since it broke about the 50 here in May. And it's kind of had a nice bullish candle on Friday with green and orange dot on high volume. So it's quite um, bullish setup set, um, signal there. VRTX in, is in stage two uptrend. Last week's candle, a reversal candle and finished about the eight week moving average might, might give a good risk reward um, setup if someone is um, looking to trade based on the stage analysis. VTNR, this is in the oil and gas sector. We had this in our previous watch list and this along with the oil name corrected and cooled off a little bit and closed below the 50 day moving average. The reason I included this is if you zoom out to the weekly, it broke about this pivot point, kind of coupled with handle pivot point and it's coming to retest that on high volume. And we want to see whether this um, support, act as a support for the price and resumes its uptrend. Right now, it looks a bit weak. Um, XPEV is another Chinese name. Just broke out, found some support, um, and then using the short-term moving average, particularly the 50S support is kind of trying to push about towards the 200-day moving average. So these are some of the good short, um, good, bottom bounce setup showing some good relative strength. YMM, the low was set in March and has been giving, giving us higher lows here and now nicely pushing about the key moving averages. Nice gap between the short term moving averages marching towards the 200 day. YRI, a nice confluence of moving averages here. I've included this because the gold is something that I'm closely watching, gold sector and uh, YRI is, is in the mining sector. So if the inflation is uncontrolled, which seems to be at the moment, gold is likely to um, have some buyers come in as an inflationary hedge um, trade, and the gold mining stocks can also benefit from it. So I'd like to see the price break above this level and stay above the 50-day moving average, Zoom video communications. So this has been a terrible stock to own ever since it hit a peak right there, crashed from about 500 to less than 100. However, in the recent weeks, as you can see, it set its um, low on the 12th of May, and ever since it's been creeping up, gently consolidating about the 50-day moving average, and the key moving averages has caught up into a nice confluence. So there, there you go. I hope it gave a, a broader breadth of um, setups, bottom bounces, all-time high consolidations, biotechs, and, and so on for you. Hope you find it helpful. If you want more information, please check the description below um, and check out my blog at www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash grow wealth. And if you're interested to know more about it, email me. Have a nice rest of the weekend and happy learning, successful investing. Bye-bye.